hey guys welcome back so today we're going to be creating this really soft blush look on the beautiful kim it's very glowy very simple but still quite elegant and i'm going to be showing you how i do this so stay tuned so this is before this is kimberly's before and then we're gonna jump straight in. So I'm first starting off with my spiked eyebrow pencil. This color is close to her eyebrow um, hairs and I'm literally just filling in sparse areas. She doesn't really have a lot of sparse areas. Her brows are really nicely shaped and quite full to begin with so I didn't have a lot of work to do. And once I fill this in with my brow pencil, I'm gonna brush it through just to make sure all the pencil is distributed nicely into the brow and we don't have any block um, colours in her brows. So I'm going to take a concealer that's one shade lighter than her skin tone. I don't want it to stand out too much but I'm just going to clean up under her brow just to give it a little bit of a lift. Not that she needs a lift because <laughs> her eyebrows are pretty well arched but I'm going to give her brows just a little bit more of a lift and also clean up the um, pencil work that I did earlier. Then I'm going to take that same concealer I'm going to put it all over her eyelid and this is going to act as the base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to put on after. I'm now setting that base with a loose um, setting powder. This is a translucent powder so it's literally see through. And I'm going to take like a peachy pink colour and I'm going to work it through her crease. I'm kind of using like circular buffing motions going round and round um, and I want to create like a tiny spot eye, nothing too crazy. So I'm going to go in the crease from the outer corner and then I'm going to go in the crease from the inner corner and work my way, my way in to the eye. And then I'm going to get a brush, a really fluffy brush and blend those two corners together. Okay, once that's blended, I'm going to take that same concealer, I'm going to work it on her eyelid. I'm really sorry about the lighting in this video, guys. It's just a bit, little bit too bright, but I've had been having a lot of problems with my camera. Anyway, I'm just going to tap a little bit of like a sparkly eyeshadow on her lid and I'm going to pop some lashes on. So the eyes are very, very simple. Yeah, they're very simple, nothing too crazy. Um, I will show you at the end what the eyes look like as my camera is washing out a lot of the colour. But now I'm taking out, taking out, now I'm taking a white pencil and putting that in her waterline. And then I'm going to smoke her lower lash line with the same colour I used on her crease and then a brown colour just to make it stand out a little bit more. Now moving on with skin, I'm using MAC strobe cream all over her skin to moisturise and then um, I used the Natural Radiance Primer. She does have dry skin so I try to use um, products that are quite hydrating for her skin. Now I'm just using a bit of concealer just to hide any blemishes and I'm going to work that in to her skin um, just to take away from any redness or any discoloration that she may have on her skin. And I'm buffing that in with a MAC brush. I'm going to leave all the brushes that I used in the description box just in case you're wondering. But if there's any specific brush you see me use and you want to know the name of it, just ask me in the comments and I'll definitely reply. So I'm going to work that in. And now I'm going in with um, a Real Techniques sponge and her foundation. And I'm going to buff that into her skin as well. Once that's done, I'm going to contour um, using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. And this is in... I think I can't remember the name but I'll leave it below and I'm just working that in her cheekbone her jawbone and her temples I also took a little bit under her nose um, I didn't share that on camera <laughs> but now I'm taking that same concealer I used earlier to correct her skin and I'm going to use it to highlight it's only about one shade lighter than her skin so it's nothing too crazy and then I'm going to blend that in with a Real Technique sponge. This is the mini one. You can get it from Boots. It's really, really good for freelance if you're wondering. So I'm just using tapping motions to work that concealer into her skin. 
and I tap rather than drag because I don't want to move the product. Tapping it basically like pushes it into the skin and it helps it sit a lot better. I find this technique works really well for a lot of different skin types. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to get the contour brush and the contour cream well, and the cream contour that I used earlier and I'm going to buff that into her skin and I'm taking the beauty, beauty, no, I'm taking the sponge to blend that out because I don't want there to be any like block lines or anything. Um, I want it to be quite well blended. So I'm doing the same on the other side, just basically placing the product on her skin and then buffing it out with um, a beauty sponge. Now I'm going to set the areas that I put concealer on and I'm just making sure that everywhere is well blended before I add the powder just to make sure that we don't get any creasing. Um, I am reverse contouring as well with the translucent powder. I'm going to put that under her eyes, on her chin, on the sides of her face, on her forehead and on her nose. And then now I'm taking a bronzer and I'm working that on the outer portion of her face as I felt like the concealer made her face a little bit too light. So I'm basically just putting the colour back into her skin with a bronzer. I'm taking it quite far down um, on her forehead. And I'm putting that on her cheeks as well. Now I'm going to buff out the, con the translucent powder from her face. As you can see, it gives her a really, really nice contoured look without looking a, without looking a little bit too harsh. And then I'm going to go over the bronzer as well. So now I'm taking up the peach that I used in her transition earlier and I'm dragging that on her bottom lash line and I'm just working that in with a fluffy brush. Once that's done I'm going to make sure that her contour is well blended and I'm just using this like Zoeva brush to um, basically ap apply her face powder which is the max. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm ba basically just putting that on her smile lines and everywhere else that wasn't set with any powder. So I'm going to keep spraying in between. This is a Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. It's like a primer as well and I'm just working that into her skin just to give it more hydration and I also use the MAC Fix Plus Gold Light which kind of le leaves specks of um, gold on her face. So I'm just going in with a beauty sponge to work that into her skin. And then I'm going to add some mascara on her bottom lash line. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is really, really, really good. Once that's done, I'm adding a bit of blush just to give her skin some glow. You can use it to highlight if you're dark skin. You can use it as a blush if you're of a fairer skin tone. And this is a NARS Orgasm Blusher. Um, so it's given her a blushed look and it's also given her a bit of a highlight as you can see on the top of her cheekbones It's just bringing the light to her face quite nicely And now I'm gonna add some highlight on top because you can never have too much highlight So I'm gonna add it on top of her, her cheekbones I'm also taking it on the apples of her cheeks So when the light hits it, it looks really really nice and illuminated I'm gonna add some on the tip of her nose and on her forehead I'm also adding a little bit on her brow bone and on the top of her lip as well. Okay, once that's done, I'm taking Max. I think this is Morning Coffee Lip Liner, I think. I can't remember. Um, and I'm just lining her lips with that. And I'm going to go in with a gloss. No, I'm going to go in with another MAC lipstick, which is like a peachy colour.
So once I finish lining her lips, I'm going to go in with um, a MAC Cosmetics lipstick, which is a peach colour. I'm not sure because I did depot it into my palette, but it's just a really nice creamy lipstick and it has, um, it's a peachy colour. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over the top with a gloss as well. And then once that's done, I'm going to spray her face again with the Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. And then I'm going to go over the spotlight with a little bit of highlight that I use on her cheeks. And then for her body, I'm just using the NARS Monoi Body Oil. It's one of my faves, just to give her skin more of a glow. It is going to add a little bit of colour to her skin, but it's also going to add a rich glow to her skin as well. So I'm just working that in with my hands first. And then I'm going to use a brush to buff it into her skin. And then once that's done, I'm going to use um, the highlighter I use on her cheeks. I'm going to place that on her collarbone <clears throat> and everywhere that stands out on her decolletage area, just to set the oil in. I'm also taking it onto her ears as well because I want everything, and on the sides of her face, I want everything to be quite well blended. I don't want it to look like she's got oily chest and matte face so I'm going to make sure everything is bronzed up so I'm taking my NARS um, I think this is Laguna bronzer um, and I'm going to bronze the bottom of her, of her face up just to match her chest area Now I'm just making sure that she doesn't have any smile lines and I'm going over that with um, a bit of a powder. So now this is where I'm using the highlighter on her decolletage just to set the oil that I placed on there earlier. And then once that's done, that's everything. This is what she looks like after. Tell me what you guys think of this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.